Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ages Does Valheim. So this is part two of my new series. As I said in part one, I have taken a bit of a break from uh, Guild Wars while they're busy preparing for their patches for next week's expansion. So what we did in part one, uh, we obviously spawned in. We made ourselves a little base camp here. It's a little bit out of where the way of where we want to be, but yeah, we want to be is like across the river. But we are not prepared to take on our little boss just yet. So in the last video, I managed to get myself a bow. We upgraded our little stone stone axe to a flint axe. And I managed to get some gold, some bones. And right now we are going to go and get me some stuff to improve our little house. And hopefully we get some more boars to kill so that I can get some pence. I'm in desperate need of pence. Running around your commando is not safe. Uh, just give me a sec, this is bugging me. There we go. Look, look at that, that guy over there, he thinks he's cool. Oh, I missed. Cool guy dodged me. Yeah, I'm no, I'm no Hawkeye. Let's begin. Let's chop some trees. Let's speed run this. Boom. Nope, need food. Oh, and I also cooked all the meat. From hunting deer. Yeah. So uh, this is just a temporary base I'm busy building, just so that we can get ourselves up and going to go face the first boss. Okay, there's a deer. Where is this deer? He's laughing at me. Sounds like he's over here. It's probably just inside the tree line. I just can't see him. Okay. Choppy choppy. My one friend actually calls the deer dogs because of how they sound. It says they don't sound like genuine deer. Cultivator. I can make flat dam, but I can't thing eat it. Can't grow on it yet. How are we looking on weight? Oh, we got plenty of weight still. Let's keep going. Let's make this process faster. Forest in the area, yeah. Got enough for one more tree. Let's do these twins. And I see that guy that was laughing at me. 
We're gonna kill him first. Where'd you go, buddy? I know you're here. Oh, that's a boar. It's not a deer. Oh, lucky shot. Lucky shot. Okay, we got that. Let's finish chopping these down. Up oh, timber. It's falling the wrong way. I like to clear the stumps because I don't actually like the litter. But it's not needed to clear them, I just like to do it. Okay, so now I'm at max weight, but we're going to do this. Serves, I don't need to have a crafting bench. There we go. Just so that it doesn't despawn, I'm gonna run back to base. Yeah, I'm quite far away from base. Yeah. See, if I was at the Bronze Age, right, I could create a little cart. fetch that one now, smash down and I will chop down that other tree, a little bit counterproductive not fully emptying up my inventory but oh well, I want to make sure I don't forget where that thingy is, for the most part, It's nice it was a birch log, but I still can't harvest it. If it had fallen into pieces, oh, that would have been amazing. But obviously, I'm not that lucky. Come on, ages. It's like running right at you. Yeah, I wasted a bit of time there. That was stupid of me. But, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna here. Do a bit of quick repairs. Uh, I think we need another little chest. It's not a problem. Boom, like that. Put the seeds in there. Let's pick up this one. Okay. Oh, it's still floating. Let's make ourselves a proper little kitchen. See, if you try to place it like this, it goes a little bit weird. It goes under the ground. Which I don't oh, 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 oh. Which I don't like when it goes under the ground like that. But if you place it on the the legs like I do. Oh, nice shot. So if you place it on these little pillars like that, then it makes it nice and easy to build. But you can't place the fireplaces off the ground. So it's a bit of a catch-22. So let's do this. 
so. And obviously I don't want the food falling under the ground. Well, once again, this is not a full base. This is just me getting started base. Let's destroy that. Get our resources back. Because I'm a little bit weird that way. I do not like to be cramped in, in things. So, so we just make this a little bit bigger. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do it like that. I'll show you now why I'm doing it this way and not con just continuing with the thingy. So, he wants a leg. Apparently, I'm hungry. that one pull that up that across put that one across and then we use the hard ones we we're just keeping everything uniform Slightly lower roof. Oops. That. And we're going to place a little doorway here so I can go in and out. This is purely for aesthetic. I will run into the fire, so we're just going to put that one there. Nice. So, this is what our, our base looks like currently. Nothing fancy, and I do need to place our overhang over there.
protect our fire from when it rains. Okay, so as you can see, we've run out of wood again. Never ending story about wood. Okay, let's go hunt us some boar. Our little housey is coming along nicely. And hopefully we'll actually get a beehive. A beehive will help us a span. But the question is how are we going to find one? So let's just keep going. Uh, just give me one sec, sorry. Okay, so we are on the hunt for a beehive. And we need more wood. And I need to eat more food. I went a bit too soon on the meat, but oh well. Let's go for it. to my presence. Believe it or not, I'm actually way better at a bow than I am with melee combat. That's why I was so happy when they brought magic into the game. It's like... Melee is fun. And I generally will run around the big axe, like I said in part one. But, yeah, I enjoy range combat more than melee combat. Like, in all honesty, if I wasn't Viking Ages, I'd probably be at the back line with my bow. I would be like a, a weak melee fighter, but I'd be a strong bowman. I oh, still got it. <laughs> kind of thought I'd shoot over that one. Okay, there's a little house. If you're ever looking for beer houses, these are like the best places to look, is these abandoned houses. Well, some better arrows, some feathers, some amber. Yeah, but there's no beehive here. It's a bit of a bummer. And it's getting dark. I don't necessarily want to run around in the dark. The mobs are stronger and I'm still running around with no pants on. Yep. Okay, there's a beehive. I can hear the buzzing. There's it there. You can see it in the... Just the back corner. Sorry, it's so dark, but it's becoming nighttime. Nice. One shot, and I got the beehive down. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The queen landed on the top. So we're gonna do this. There we go, I got my queen. And just because I've already placed it, let's tear this place down. And let's just pull the bottom fan. Oh, hello, friend. 
because you have pulled down the bottom foundations, the rest of the place falls apart too. Which means less clicking for me. Okay. Uh, mostly because it's night time. And like I said, I don't really want to be out at night. Let's head back home. I wouldn't mind coming across another structure and finding another beehive. See, beehives offer like an unlimited source of food for beginners. And they also offer a lot of stamina, like once again for beginners. And there's better food, obviously. But I think we are on day three or four of our venture on the server. So, a better food source is pretty good. And another reason I don't like to be out in the dark these graylings get a bit of a defense bonus and they also do more damage in the dark and I don't think they will kill me but there's a possibility of them doing it and I definitely do not want to lose the beehive I just got so let's head back to base Once the daylight breaks, we will go on a proper adventure. There's a Nick, two Nicks. Like, I wonder who came up with the name Nick. Such a weird name. I can't sleep because I'm wet. So let's go to the next little fireplace here. Which will dry me off quicker. Oh, see my fireplace is too far now. There's always that li little bug. Well, it's not so much a bug. It's a good game mechanic, to be honest. We'll fix all that when the sun comes up. I just needed to move this closer. Okay, I should be able to sleep in my bed now. No, still not. Oops, I just broke off my wall down. So what I want to do is just get to the one side of this thing, but right now I want to just skip the night time. Like, you can actually stay awake for the whole night, but it goes quicker, easier for players like me that like to just explore during the day. And, yeah. So, we're now on day four, let's cook some meat. And then we'll go out on adventuring. And let's build our first beehive. They don't like to be too close to structures, but I have a feeling they'll actually get targeted. I 
didn't have that much meat on me. Oh no, I've still got some meat to cook. Okay. We'll also em empty my inventory while we're here before we go out. See the. You click here, it says the bees are happy. As long as you can see that little glowy light, it means they are good to go. When you don't see the little glowing lights, then you know that they are not happy. I don't know why that one wasn't in place, but anyhow. Okay, we just wait for this last piece. Come on. Like that. And like I said, we're going to empty our inventory. And this is why I actually built the deck. So we just go like this, miscellaneous. We place our wood up here, out of our way. And it also, if you leave it out in the open, it gets a bit of like deterioration. That's the word. And that's not something I want for my stuff to get deteriorated, just for the moment anyway. Uh, like that. Oh, that can go in the other chest. Not going to use the fancy arrows. Put that there. Okay. And yeah, now we're good. Let's just repair our stuff. Hi, Beehive. Okay, let's close our door. And let's head out. Another neck. Which is. Oh. And I said to you that I'll be, I'll be like a good archer. I'm a terrible archer. Terrible. Okay, let's go. So if you ever want feathers, you shoot the little seagulls. And don't miss like me. Uh, need more food. Eight strawberries instead of my honey, which would have got me more stamina. Oh well. We're going for it. Okay, so we're looking for boar, deer, and beehives. Okay, I hear a deer. Didn't see it, but I hear it. Or something. Boar. Oh. See, if I aimed a little bit higher, I would have hit it. See. Another boar. Oh, one star boar, so that's going to give me extra meat. Nice. See? One shot. Oh. And friend of boar. Didn't expect so many boar there, to be honest. You can actually tame them, which is like a better source of gathering. So if you actually tame them, which is like a better option than trying to kill them and farm them like I'm doing right now. Uh, it'll make your life so much easier, right? But I'm not, like everything, I'm not quite there yet. I will be. I'll make a nice little enclosure and everything for them. And they'll be nice and safe and cozy and all that stuff. 
but for the moment, I'm not there. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I'm speed running through the forest here, just trying to make up some time. Probably missing a lot of good stuff. But this is like on the meadows, which you don't want to hang around here too long. I mostly want to prepare for the boss fight. And I'm trying to get as many of these little markers as I can. So all I really actually need for the boss fight is a decent bow and a lot of arrows. And then you just build like little uh, walls to stop him, I want to say. And then if you do that, then he goes down like easy peasy. No bones this time. We go to this little house and see if we get lucky with the beehive. One nice thing about the meadows is always you always find these big open plains like this. Oops, there's another nice beehive. Boom. Oh it didn't damage it. Didn't one shot it. There we go. Yeah, so there's my second beehive. Also, if you're not careful, like I was not careful, uh, I picked up a little bit of beasting poison, which does a little bit of damage over time. But if you were, didn't have food on me, like if I had just standard no food, basically, uh, those, those stings would have killed me. But because I'm a little bit fed, oh, I can hear more beasts, it's right there. Let's see it in the gap. And then I can shoot it though. Nope. I'll just show you what I'm talking about now. Let me just collect this. So you'll notice now in the top right, where it's sheltered, I've got a little bit of poison. And I'm doing 1.3 damage. But because of my food, I'm healing more than what I'm damaging. Okay, so with that, how much? We have plenty of carry weight, so let's smash down this house for some free wood. Feels bad, man. It's partnered with a nice beehive. Now I'm just tearing it down like a crazy person. I'm not even aiming, I'm just uh, hitting my middle mouse button and just spamming on the building. Uh, the satisfaction of watching the building fall apart is always enjoyable. Okay, now just pick all the stuff up. Free lumber, man. Free lumber. Like that. And we just pick up this piece. Let's grab this. Okay. Let's make our way home. I achieved the goal that I set out to get for two extra beehives. And we got 69 wood out of the process. Some more boar skin. We can make my pants. Why couldn't I have done that earlier? When I was saying how good of an archer I am. I don't know. 
There's some more boar there. There's probably going to be a one star with this. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Whenever they gather around a stone like that, there's generally a one star. Not always the case, but... Okay, now there's one more boy there, and he's... I think he's stuck, because he is alert to me. Here he comes. Oddly enough, the, in some parts of this game has actually got bad graphics, and then you've got these little awesome bits of graphics that just add to it. Which, like, distracts you from it, basically. Like, if you even look at the effects of the sky, like, that looks amazing. But then you look at your immediate surroundings, it's like, same game, really? <laughs> and even like the, the water effects. The water is amazing. Okay. Let's run back to the house. Yeah. Oh, I'm above the deer. <laughs> Once I get the, the better bow, I won't have to like try navigate for the wind effects, but for the moment I have to. Oh, some mushrooms. Little guy thinks he's a big guy. Oh, he wants two shots. Big guy. Okay. See, the, the thing about honey is it gives you 35 stamina. Which helps you run further. Same with swimming. Swimming consumes stamina. And like in video one, we are almost drowned because we're in out of stamina. More is better. Obviously, more skill as well, which I'm busy getting. But yeah. Now I've like run the long way home. But we'll get there. Like, I bought this base completely wrong, and there's only a temporary base. It's like. I'm sitting here asking myself, really? Maybe I should move already. It's like, it's so far away from everything, it feels. Like, the boss is there. I went all the way up there, and I want to run all the way back here. It's like, ugh. We're going to make this better. But I've also said to my friends, this will be a no portal uh, playthrough. So, we're doing it properly, properly hard. No portals. We'll have to travel everywhere where we go, make it interesting, yeah. Because not that there's anything wrong with portals, but I quite like the immersion of do doing it all manually. Okay, so now we're here. I'm home. So we're just gonna make our second beehive over there. And one over there. Be 
Bees are happy. Bees are happy. Bees are happy. Oh, happy bees. Okay, with that, I'm going to end the video here. I am just going to empty out my pocket. And I'm also going to repair my tools. And I shall see everybody in the next video. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. And I hope you're enjoying our playthrough so far. This is Ages signing out.